What is up you guys? It's your favorite girl, Imani Jelena, and I am back with another video for you guys. So, before we get into this video, follow my different social media accounts. I'll leave them right up below somewhere on the screen or in the description box. I'll leave them somewhere. Go, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and follow my Facebook group. Quick story before I get into the story. I got a little offended <laughs> the other day uh, because I was approving comments. I was going through comments and all that stuff on my Facebook group. And I posted a post on my Facebook group, The Bag, in case you did not know. I do have a Facebook group. It's all about business. Um, and I and I got I received a comment and it was from one of my subscribers. She basically was saying like, hey, like I watch all of your videos. I love you. I did not know you're a part of this group. And I was just like, oh, what do you mean? It's my group. Like I just kind of like had like a brain fumble. And I was just like, Dude, am I not active enough on my group and things like that? So I will make a vowel for 2019 and I will become a lot more active on the group. I have so many cool things that I want to bring to the group. My subscribers are the only people that's going to know this piece of information. But I will be doing a giveaway on the bag. And I'll be giving away free coaching sessions for anyone who has questions so that I can help a, a, at least a handful of people going into 2019 for free with knowledge on business and all that good stuff. So if you're not a part of the Facebook group, The Bag, check the description box. I'll leave the link right below. It's super free to join and you can, you can gain so much information just by hearing everyone else. There's about 2,000 members. So posts are flying out left and right. So don't forget to do that. Next thing that I want to mention is my profit formula. If you guys don't know, I've been working on a profit formula uh, that I will be announcing to you guys really soon, but I'm just super excited about it. I'm super geeked about it. I've put so much time and energy behind this formula. So be on the lookout. Try not to miss a video because I'm just going to throw it into a random video for you guys. Because honestly, I only want my loyal, loyal subscribers to know about this price formula. So make sure you're watching all of my videos and all that good stuff because gonna, I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm going to keep throwing out hints. I'm going to keep doing a lot of stuff uh, for the people who are interested in the profit formula. Because I promise you, if you follow this formula, you will profit tremendously. You will know how to create your price list. You will know what profit margins are. You will know everything. So only to my loyals, only to my loyal subscribers. So definitely go ahead and make sure you're you're watching each and every video and cutting on post notification. OK, so let's get into this video. Like I said, this is going to be a two too lengthy video because it's straight to the point i'm telling you guys my experiences and what i recommend and things like that so how much hair should you start off with simple question okay if you guys did not know you can start a hair company with zero dollars yes zero dollars people don't really talk about it but it is possible let's say you find a vendor from overseas from asia from china wherever um and you can basically order as you go with them if you guys didn't know that some of you guys may know that because i spoke about this like in my like old videos but that is an option for you to do so let's say you have a vendor and you don't want to keep any hair on hand or you can't really afford to keep much hair on hand right now you can always order as you need it so whenever your customer orders hair you would then go to your vendor and order that same bundle with the money your customer just paid with um, so that's always an option for those of you who need a more affordable route of doing things. That is an option. Starting a company with zero down. It's possible. Okay. Now, if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about that, let me know in the comment section and I'll create a video about it and we can go into depth. Okay. But moving on, a lot of you guys have followed my journey and my experience as far as being an entrepreneur, owning a hair business and so forth. You, a lot of you guys will know that I started Allure 96, which is my hair company with 12 bundles, 12 bundles, 12 bundles. That was literally it. Granted, it took me six weeks to get a sale, but I only started with 12 bundles. So with my updated research and my past experience, experience, I recommend that you guys start with 12 to 26 bundles. You can start with as little as 12 bundles and you can go all the way up to 36. Now, if you just want a warehouse full of hair, you can do that too. It's all up to your discretion. But now I bet you're asking, okay, like 
Do I just start with bundles? How many frontals, closures, all of that good stuff do I get? I've got your back. So you should also start with two to six closures, one to four frontals, and at least one to two wigs because wigs are popping, okay? And in total, in total, that would be you starting with 16 to 48 pieces of hair, okay? Now that's like when you total like all the frontals, bundles, all that good stuff. If you start with 16 to 48 pieces, you're in the, the green zone if you ask me. Um, for one, you don't want to order too much hair. And the reason I say you don't want to order too much hair is because you don't want hair to sit for too long. If hair sits for too long, it changes the quality of the hair. And what I mean by that is imagine you sitting anything out for months on end. It's going to alter the chemistry, the quality of the hair. And you can, like if you order too much hair all at once, you can create a bad smell in your hair by letting it sit for too long. You can create like a crunchiness on the hair uh, if you let it sit too long, especially if you're dealing with more so like raw hair the quality of the hair will alter just slightly. Um, so I would not recommend overly, overly buying too much hair in the beginning because you don't even know what you're gonna sell. You don't even know what's, what you're gonna make money off of. You don't know if anyone's gonna purchase your hair. So start small and then work your way up. So, so for instance, if you were to start with 12 bundles like I did, I started with 12 bundles. People started to order those 12 bundles. And when I collect the money from the individuals who ordered it, then I just went back and ordered those same bundles. So I always kept 12 bundles in stock for quite some time until I started to get consistent orders. Now, when you also do this method, it'll also teach you what lengths are more popular with your company as well. With me, I sell a lot of 20 inches. So in my inventory, I stock up and rack up on 20 inches just because that's what I sell a lot more of. So that's the same way you in the beginning you don't know your projections for your business you don't know too much of the analytics that goes behind your inventory and things like that when it comes to your business during the launch process because you don't know what you're going to sell you don't know what's going to sit there for a thousand years you just don't know. So that initial launch and that initial inventory stock and things like that is going to help you then figure out what your business desires, what your customers desires, what your customers want. Um, and then it'll be able to help you to get a little comfortable as far as like ordering inventory and it'll also teach you what to order. Most important thing is you want to match your inventory with your budget. You want to purchase what you can afford to purchase. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Like I said, you can legit start with zero dollars, zero dollars. So whatever you order is going to benefit you in the end, whether you can only order six bundles. Like those six bundles, once those six, bu six bundles are gone, you can order six more. And then I'm sure you add it on your own prices and all that good stuff. So instead of ordering six the next go around, you'll order 12. Start with what your, your budget can afford to start with. Don't try to invest above your means and things like that. Um, and just don't overdo it. Uh, the next thing that I want to touch on really quickly is the popular textures. The most popular textures are going to be your body wave and your straight hair. Body wave is popular, okay? Everyone loves them, some wavy hair girl. So definitely make sure you incorporate, at least incorporate straight and body wave into your inventory. And then the next, the, the third most popular length would be your curly hair. So definitely make sure when you're ordering your 12 to 36 bundles that you incorporate a little bit of curly, a little bit of straight, a little bit of body wave in there and you'll be all set. And do the same thing with your frontals and your closures. Just make everything assorted. Um, but for the most part, I gave you the gist of everything as far as ordering your inventory and now it's time to get to business. So if you guys have any leftover questions or anything like that, definitely go ahead and email me. Um, if you have questions regarding Allure 96 dropshipping or wholesale program, you can email me at info at Allure96.com. Or if you guys have a personal question for Amani Jelena to answer, you can email it to Amani Jelena at gmail.com. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.